Hello, it's George, and there is Maisie down here too who might pop in. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a conductor or a musician in an orchestra? Or are you a composer, arranger or orchestrator looking for a supplemental book to go alongside that cold, hard orchestration manual you have? Well, today I want to talk to you about a book that can provide some unique insights into the fascinating world of orchestras. It's called Anatomy of the Orchestra by Norman Del Mar. As a conductor and horn player himself, Del Mar shares his wealth of experience and knowledge in an engaging and informative way. In this video, I want to share with you my thoughts on this fantastic book and why I think it's a must read for anyone who loves music. So let's dive in. I have to admit, I've had a copy of Anatomy of the Orchestra for quite some time now, uh, but I can't quite remember how I stumbled upon it. I think it was during my university days, over 10 years ago, when I was studying orchestration and scouring Amazon for textbooks. It's funny how time flies, a bit worrying actually. Anyway, even though the first edition of the book was published in 1981, it's actually a, a pretty modern text when it comes to orchestras and orchestration. However, my copy is a Faber Fines reprint and unfortunately it doesn't indicate which edition it is. So please keep that in mind as I share my thoughts on this book. Uh, and do let me know if you happen to have a later edition that might make my critiques outdated. Let me tell you a bit more about the author of Anatomy of the Orchestra, Norman Del Mar. He was a British conductor and horn player, and it's probably why his book's uh, horn chapter contains information that I haven't seen in any other orchestration or instrumentation manual. Del Mar had a long and illustrious career conducting orchestras from uh, the 1940s until his passing in 1994. His legacy as a conductor is well known, but he was also a prolific author with publications that include works on conducting Beethoven, Brahms and Elgar, as well as a study of Mahler's Sixth Symphony. I'm definitely curious about those, particularly the last one, uh, so I might just have to review them too if I can get hold of them. At its core, Anatomy of the Orchestra is a book that delves into the world of orchestral instruments. While it's not a uh, comprehensive guide, it certainly is thorough, covering a vast array of instruments. Uh, the book is broken down into several sections and subsections. Each section focuses on a specific group within the orchestra, such as strings, woodwinds, brass, percussion, keyboards, and even the use of voices in the orchestra. What I love about this book is the attention to detail in each subsection. Del Mar doesn't just explore specific instruments, but also delves into particular qualities and techniques as well. For example, in the string section, there's a subsection on the problems of double bass tuning. Um, in the woodwinds section, uh, there's a subsection on phrasing. Um, and then in the horn section, there's even a subsection uh, on water emptying. Del Mar's thorough exploration of each uh, subsection is what sets this book apart and makes it uh, such a valuable resource for any musician or music lover. Anatomy of the Orchestra is a unique book that stands out from other orchestration manuals. What sets it apart is not only the wealth of information it contains on instrumentation and the ways uh, composers have used various instruments in the orchestra, but also how that information is presented. While other manuals require a desk and notepads for study, Del Mar's book can be comfortably read from cover to cover like a novel. Uh, one of the standout features of Anatomy of the Orchestra, Del Mar's impressive knowledge and uh, experience as a conductor and horn player. Uh, his technical and theoretical knowledge is uh, grounded in his lived experience, and this is evident throughout the book. My personal favourite section is on the horns, which is separate from the rest of the brass section. Uh, it offers unique insights into the instrument, including details on crooks and tunings uh, and different forms of hand stopping or muting. As a trumpet player, I was uh, pretty amazed by the level of detail provided um, and it highlighted the distinctiveness of the horn within the brass section and its kind of bridging relationship with the woodwinds. Um, 
I also appreciated Delmar's uh, discussion on Divisi platform planning and numerical strength in the string section, uh, as well as the exploration of clarinets, which included uh, the Bassett horn, and then there was also chapters on the timpani, which I enjoyed. Overall, Anatomy of the Orchestra is a must-read for anyone interested in orchestration or simply curious about the instruments that make up the orchestra. Delmar's engaging writing style and unique insights make it an enjoyable and informative uh, read for all. For me, Anatomy of the Orchestra is a book that I thoroughly enjoy. While there's uh, not much that I don't like about it, there is one thing that stands out. Uh, certain sections and subsections seem uh, a little too textbook-like in their structure, which detracts from the book's otherwise enjoyable and engaging writing style. The strings and horn sections are uh, well structured and informative, but I find the woodwind section to be a bit more formulaic and rigid. However, this is a minor quibble, and overall, I love the book's ability to convey knowledge in a uh, serendipitous way. If I had to find a specific flaw, it would be the presentation of the extracts, which can sometimes be confusing and unclear. However, this doesn't detract from the richness and engagement of the text, which is the book's main focus. Uh, unlike a traditional textbook or manual that aims to teach anatomy uh, of the orchestra, or orchestration rather, imparts wisdom in an enjoyable and thought-provoking way, which is uh, why I keep coming back to it. Anatomy of the Orchestra is a book that uh, would make a great addition to the library of any composer, conductor, orchestrator or arranger. While not necessarily essential, it is a highly enjoyable read that can be read cover to cover, unlike some of the more technical orchestration manuals such as Adler's The Study of Orchestration or Blatter's Instrumentation and Orchestration, which are designed for study. For those who already have a manual for reference, Anatomy of the Orchestra would be an excellent addition to gain a deeper understanding of the orchestra, orchestral instruments and orchestral music. However, for those who do not yet have a manual and are interested in becoming a composer or orchestrator, I'd probably recommend searching for a manual first before considering uh, this supplementary reading material. Uh, but overall, I can confidently say that if you're interested in orchestration, the orchestra and how instruments are used to create beautiful uh, music, then Anatomy of the Orchestra by Norman Delmar is definitely worth a read. I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to expand their knowledge in this area. And if you have any burning questions about orchestration, now uh, is the time to ask. Uh, in preparation for my upcoming lecture series, Introduction to Orchestration, I invite you to share your top two questions about orchestration in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I look forward to reading your questions.